I'm Brandon Burrill, owner and operator of Quick Water Heater and Filtration Company. We're here in San Diego, California, where we operate our business. Today, I'm gonna to show you how the whole house purification tanks works in combination with a salt water softener. I'm also gonna show you how to use it, how to maintain it, and how to program the head. So let's get started on this video. The first thing I wanna make a note of is the whole house purification tank, which is loaded with three types of carbon. So what this does is it removes any of the chlorine or chloramines before it hits the softener. And the reason we do that is because the resin beads inside of here are affected by chlorine. Chlorine is corrosive and it eats anything that's plastic or rubber. So over time, if you don't have a carbon tank protecting the resin, it's gonna take the shape of the beads, etch away at them, and reduce the efficiency of the saltwater softener. So after five years, people are like, it doesn't feel like it's working the same way. And it's because the chlorine is basically eating the resin beads, which do the exchange process and soften the water. So without a whole house purification tank, it's only a matter of time before this is gonna eat itself up. It's not gonna be as effective. So people say, oh, I'm putting tons of salt in, it's using it, but it's not softening. Well, that's the reason why. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is set the time. So let's just assume that the time right now is five o'clock. So the first setting you're gonna to need to know is time. If you just hit any one of these buttons, it's gonna take you to TD, which today's, I don't know why it's D, but it's basically the time of the day. So we're gonna just hit the buttons. If you hold them down, they'll start speeding through the process. We're gonna set it for 5 p.m. So you can see it's really jumping numbers quickly here. Be careful not to go past the number. Okay. And then you hit this little circle button and that goes ahead and sets it. The next feature that we're gonna show is how to regenerate your system. So say the power goes off or you've been gone a long time and you don't know what's going on or say that there's something that seems weird, the first thing you're gonna do is regenerate the system. So how you do that is you push this little regeneration button here and you just hold it down. So. The first setting is BW, that means backwash. So what it's doing is picking up all the minerals, fluffing them up. If you hit it again, it's gonna go into brine, brine draw. So what brine draw does is it's basically sucking the water out of the mineral tank, the salt tank, and pulling it through this little hose, which you can't see, into the softener. So you can skip through these settings if you want. Okay, so rapid rinse is once the tank is full of sodium, it's kicked off all the calcium and magnesium and it's just saturated. It's like brine, it's, it's nasty stuff. So during rapid rinse, it's gonna flush all that out and then back flush, it's gonna reset all the uh, resin media. So if you hit it again, now we're back to operation. When you see this little faucet thing, that means you're good to go. You're gonna see a number here. The number indicates how many gallons you have before it needs to regenerate again. So let's go into the next setting here. If you hold both of these down, up and down, it's gonna send you into the basic settings. Now there's another set of settings in here, but we don't want you going in there because you can totally malfunction the system. So the DO stands for day override. We're gonna set it to 14 days. Every 14 days, the system is going to basically force itself into regeneration and go through those four cycles that I just showed you. So you can change this if you want but leave it at 14, that's a pretty good number. And then this is regeneration time. So right now it's on a 24 hour cycle. We've got it set for 2 a.m. That's the time I'd recommend for you, but if you wanna change it, you can. To get to the next setting, you just hit the regeneration button. So the hardness in San Diego, which is the only place we sell these, the hardness is roughly 20 grains. So you wanna set it to 20. If you set it higher, it's gonna rip through the salt much faster. It's gonna use you know, however much. If you set it to 40, it's gonna use twice as much salt. If you set it to 10, it's not gonna pull out all the calcium and magnesium, but it's gonna use a lot less salt. If you hit the regeneration button one more time, it goes back to the setting. So it tells you you have 800 gallons left, and then it's gonna flash again to the actual time of the day. The time of day is important to dictate when the regeneration cycle will happen. You want it to go off in the middle of the night when you're sleeping. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of noisy as you heard earlier. So best time is 2 a.m. and that's the, that's the best place. Yeah. Thanks, Larry, cool. 
So again, you want to have this time accurate. If the power goes out, you just want to reset that again. You hold these buttons down and it allows you to change the time. And then to set everything, you just hit that and you're good to go. So if you don't have your time set, your regeneration time at 2 a.m. may happen at some random time when you don't want it to. So that's why it's important to have your time set. Okay, so now let's talk about the brine tank. So you see that the water is slightly above the salt. That's exactly how you want this to be. If you fill this thing all the way up, what happens is that water dissolves the salt up to that level, but sometimes it'll create what's called a salt bridge. And then the salt never actually drops down into the tank and you just have fresh water down in there, which makes the salt softener useless. So here's what we recommend. You're gonna put one bag in at a time and never go above that water level and you'll always be good to go. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. This is the salt that we recommend. It's Morton's Clean and Protect. It has something in here that keeps the bacteria down um, because if it builds up inside this tank, if you use like the diamond crystals, it will have like an egg smell to it. It's absolutely disgusting. So we recommend this because it actually cleans the brine tank out. And because the salt water softener is last in line, if your brine is smelly, it will go into the softener and then go into your house. So make sure you use these pellets. I don't recommend the block waffles. They say they're as effective as this, but salt is salt and it's half the weight. So go ahead and get the salt pellets like this. And then all you're gonna do is dump it in the brine tank. So for demonstration purposes, I went over the, actually went outside the bucket, bummer, but I'll vacuum that out. I actually went above the water line. I don't recommend doing this. Just use one bag at a time and always keep it below that water line. I wanna make a quick note about this valve. Whenever we do an installation, you're gonna see this. What this is, is actually a purge valve so that we can block this off from going into your home and we can service your unit. At the same time, it allows you to hook this up to a garden hose and wash your car, wash anything that you want washed down with soft water, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm Brandon Burrill from Quick Water Heater and Filtration Company. I hope this video has been informative. If you need anything related to a water softener or a whole house purification system for your home in San Diego, we're more than willing to come out and give you a free quote. You can also visit us at quickwaterheater.com and use our instant quotes feature, which will allow you to get pricing and show you all of our videos and more information like we've given you here. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day.